Praise be Jesus Christ, when I'm dying on my deathbed, preparing to pass from this life to the next, I want someone to read to me all the scriptures that speak about how much God loves me. Now, I'm still working on compiling all these scriptures. I also want to have a few books ready where I have highlighted passages that speak about how much God loves me so that as I'm dying, I can have hope and confidence in the Father's love for me, in the love of our Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity's love for me, so that I'm not afraid and my heart is filled with the love of God. So, one scripture, for example, in Luke chapter 12, verse 32, the Lord Jesus says, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Now, the, one of the books, it, right now it's on the top of the list of books that I want read to me as I'm dying is Mother Eugenia's Revelations, The Father Speaks to His Children. God the Father revealed Himself and spoke with Mother Eugenia. And these messages are for everyone. So I'm going to read to you just, I'll keep this video to under three minutes. I'm going to read to you. This is already ready to go. Highlight it. The parts I want read to me while I'm dying. So I'm going to read to you up until three minutes. Okay. God the Father is reported to have said, This is the real purpose of my coming. I am coming to banish the excessive fear that my creatures have of me and to show them that my joy lies in being known and loved by my children. By the way, as I read these passages from The Father Speaks to His Children, you'll recognize this is all found in sacred scripture. Time presses. I wish men to know as soon as possible that I love them and that I feel the greatest happiness in being with them and talking with them like a father with his children. Realize then, O men, that from all eternity I've ha I have had but one desire, to make myself known to men and be loved by them. I wish to stay with them, I to stay forever with them. Most men know all of these events, the events of the uh, salvation history, but they fail to grasp the essential thing. That love was the guiding principle in it all. Yes, it is love. This is what I want to impress upon you. Now this love has been forgotten. I want to remind you of it so that you can learn to know me as I am. So that you will not be like slaves afraid of a father who loves you so much. So, I have a few copies left of this and we're still studying this in my school of reading. So if you join my school of reading, I'll send you a copy of The Father Speaks to His Children so that you can be reminded of how much the Father loves you. Viva Cristore!